Barbara Brown is my great-great-aunt. She was sent to Egypt as a VAD, a voluntary aid detachment. She married on the 20th of March 1929 to Robert Henry Vesey. They made the front page of the Derby newspaper 1929. She had an older sister called Alice Brown who married William James Steele. She sent postcards to her nephew, William Hardy Steele. She couldn't write any private letters as they were checked bef before being sent to England from Egypt. Dear Hardy, I hope you enjoyed the view of the pyramids that I sent you. My friends ate one of the mice when we discovered they were chocolate, and I had the other one. They were very nice. Are you better? Love from Auntie Myra. Hey Mum, I got a postcard from Aunt Myra! Merry Christmas. Love and best wishes, Myra. Myra was a VAD and was sent to Egypt and Palestine. This stands for Voluntary Aid Detachment. She had to wear a special uniform and even had to pay. She helped those who were injured in the war. To be accepted into the job, she had to sign her records. These are the original forms she would have signed. Most of us VADs only have enough money to buy the basic garments. Myra would have done chores to help keep the hospital running. These are the sort of objects she would have used while working. Myra would help many people almost every day and just for a job. She would have had to clean people's clothes and do all their washing up. Imagine the hard work. Not all of their jobs were dirty, but they had to make sure they kept their uniform very clean as many of them could not afford another set. This is what the hospital would have looked like. There are many beds spread out everywhere. The doctors and nurses had to really look after the patients. Imagine rushing around just to serve if one person would be hard enough. Imagine about many more. Myra was from Hull, so she had to travel away from home. William Hardy Steele lived in this house in Hull. It was bombed and he had shrapnel in his leg. Therefore, he moved to Doncaster. I have found out that my great aunt helped hundreds of people to live through the hardship of war. She has inspired me to help others, and I have learned that tracing your family tree can give you a real sense of where you belong. I want to say a great big thank you to the Making History team for helping me to find out who I really am.